Hey there, it's Leanna Weller-Smith from Weller-Smith Design and Design Expert for Hotstock. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use Canva for Work to create cohesive graphics to use across different formats to drive traffic to your offers, services, events, and more. Before we begin, you will need to have a Canva for Work account. I highly recommend this service. It comes in so handy when you're working on a lot of quick graphics that need to be created on the fly, so definitely check it out. If you do not have a Canva for Work account, that is totally fine. You can still follow this tutorial. You will just have to create each graphic size. Um, that you will need as opposed to using the tools that we will be talking about. Before we start, you'll need to decide what graphics you need for your upcoming sales, events, store closing, etc. We will be designing for a closed for holidays graphic, a winter sale graphic, and a holiday guide graphic. Now that you know the topic that you are going to be designing for, you need to determine which social media outlets you would like to advertise on. We are going to be creating a Facebook event graphic, an Instagram graphic, and a Pinterest graphic. From this list, you'll want to determine which of the graphics is the widest. We want to start with the widest graphic because those are usually the hardest ones to fit an image to. So if we start with the hardest, the rest will be a lot easier. We will be starting with the Facebook event graphic because that is the widest for us. Next, you will need to decide on your messaging, colors, find your images, and any embellishments that you would like to use in your designs. We will be using images from the Holiday Flat Lake Collection and the Pretty Packaging Holiday Collection, along with complementary colors, typefaces, and messaging. So now that we have those items completed, we will dig into the four simple steps to create cohesive graphics in just one click. So let's dive in. You'll want to log into your Canva account at canva.com and you should have already determined what your widest graphic size is going to be. Ours is going to be a Facebook event graphic, so we went ahead and selected that size. So you can see here, we decided to start with a nice horizontal. This is actually a Facebook event add and the size it could be used for headers it could be used for um, obviously Facebook but then it could also be used for emails or things like that if you need to so we have a few different versions here you can pick different typefaces colors graphics that are um, cohesive that look like they're part of the same um, series. Uh, they don't have to be from the same series, but have the same color, same concept. So you can see here we have a few different versions and it's just a really fun graphic layout. But we're starting with the widest version first so that that way it'll be easier once we start to resize them. The next topic was our winter sale. We have something super simple. And then here you can see we started to add in some little graphic elements. These are from the elements section of Canva. So we just did a search for snowflakes and we found these. So again, there's a few different versions, a few different layouts that we did. And then the next topic is a gift giving guide. Um, and we did a couple of fun ones here, different styles. We used um, different types of graphics for these, but they all have a similar cohesive look and feel. And then we have like a celebrating success version. So once you have all of your layouts in order and you are happy with the color choices and the typefaces and the overall layout. Now what we want to do is we want to resize these. And if you remember, we also wanted to do a Pinterest size as well as an Instagram size. And the cool thing about Canva for Work is it has this magic resize tool. And this is what I think is the best thing because it saves so much time. 
So what we're going to do is up here in the upper left menu, we're going to select resize. And it says a few that are recommended for us. We want the Instagram post and we want a Pinterest graphic. So we're going to deselect the social media because we have our Facebook event ad graphic already done. And now we want these two sizes. So you select them and then you hit abracadabra resize. So this is where the magic happens. You can see there's two new tabs up here. One is your Instagram size and the other is your Pinterest size. Now you will see that these are definitely not perfect. However, this gives you a great place to start for setting up your graphics. It has all of your content on there and it has the images that you started with. Traditional designers, they might go straight to you know, Adobe or something like that to create these kind of series of graphics. Totally fine. Um, but this just gives you a jump start and, and it, it resizes them for you. So you see the tall Pinterest graphic and then you can also see here the square Instagram. And like I said, neither of these are perfect, but with a little bit of tweaking, we'll be able to get them in order. So I am going to go ahead and tweak these and we'll check back and see where we end up. It took me about 30 minutes to create 26 graphics based on the original layouts that I designed. It could take you a little bit less time if you only magic resize one, so you went from the wide horizontal to an Instagram post, and then tweaked the Instagram, and then took that and went to Pinterest. So it would take you even less time if you split it up that way. So now you can see the three sets we designed for with the Pinterest graphic, the Facebook header graphic, and the Instagram graphic. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, share your creations with us. Tag us at hotstock.co. If there's something you want to learn more about, definitely drop us a line. And thanks again for watching from the team at Hotstock.